don't mention it, kid. I'm going as far as Miami. I got a big job planned there. I, I, I mean, uh, I got a job there. <laughs> I hear a policeman. Oh boy, we're going south real fast now. We've got gotcha, you, Blackie. Pull over. We were just hitching a wide south, sir. Hitchhikers, eh? Don't you know it's not a good idea to hitch a ride with anyone? I believe we're gonna make it this time. Oh boy, look! There goes my flock! <laughs> we'll be there before they are! <laughs> We made it! We have a wife! Let's grab his hands! Boy, oh boy, oh boy! This is the wife, isn't it, gang? Hey, fellas, it's my twins! Come on down! I want you to meet somebody! Aren't my friends? Well, they're here. My stars have arrived. They just drove up, TJ. I wonder what an old TJ wants at this hour. Perhaps to give us a name. Well, shall we go in and see? Why not, old Chetty? Realism! The movie public wants to see it like it really is! Action! What? But they're stars! Realism and action mean danger! Danger? That means hurt. Oh, I don't like that. Do we? But TJ, our stars might get hurt! Or something! You're their agent! You better think of something! Or else! It's in our contract. No danger. After all, we're superstars. I know, I know. You'd better come up with an idea. We start shooting Catman meets Ding Dong, the creature from outer space, tomorrow. I know, I know. Am I seeing double? That's it. Stop the car. I've got it. Doubles! We'll use doubles! Wait here. I'll be right back. Hey! Oh, hold on! Wait a minute! Glad to see ya. Morris Williams, Star Maker. How'd you boys like to be in showbiz? I can make you rich, famous, the idol of millions. I can make you stars. Just sign that line. Report to my penny pictures down down Hollywood. Bye. Can't man meet Ding Dong. Take one, see one. Oh! Amazing. No one could ever tell the difference. Yes, amazing, I dare say. And you'd better be good, or else. We will keep shooting and stop only for your doubles to take your place for the realism scenes, okay? Okay. Ready, light, camera, action! Police Chief to Catman! Ding Dong, the creature from outer space, has escaped! We need your help! Let's go, Reuben. We must save the city. Or else. Ding Dong is not around here, Ruben. Perhaps if we went up higher. Cut! Doubles on the set! Real 
for you, officer. Cut doubles on the roof. You throw the cab rope to the other roof and swing down. Get it? Cut. Ready for stars. Close up. Oh dear, another tough scene. I'll save you, Reuben, old chap. Cut. Thanks, fellas. Uh, move that camera in for a closer. <laughs>
so glad you volunteered to be my new apprentices. Huh? Uh, me? Replaced by a cat and mouse? You can't do this, master. I can do anything, and you can go chase your tail. Okay, Master, since you put it that way. Now, for my new apprentices. Clean up this messy magic room and see that my props are in order for tonight's big show. Whilst I nap. Boy, are you guys going to be sorry for stealing my job? Uh, just as soon as I catch my tail. Sorry, 
when I put you under my most diabolical spell. You know, fellas, I wish we could start this day all over. Here to be my new apprentice. Oh no! You mean we gotta go through all this again? You know something, Manfred? Looks like anybody can be a magician nowadays. You're right, Master. The business is going to the dogs. <laughs> this is the city, uh, city. Once a peaceful, busy town, it is now caught in the iron grip of crime. Uh, crime. People are afraid to go out. Things like the bowler are on a rampage. <laughs> That's enough loot for the day. I see the robber baritone is another sour note. No rainy This baby grand is worth a cool grand. And no billboard is safe from the mustache. As if this were not bad enough, striking fear in the hearts of all food peddlers. Oh, no! Weighing in at 300 pounds, Pat Woman is on the loose. Yummy! When asked why he couldn't stop the crime wave, Police Chief Joe Padern said, Unfortunately, my hands are tied. I sure wish Super Kate would come to the rescue. I wonder where he can be. Hello, Pete's Taylor Shot. This is Stanley Kate. Er, uh, I mean Carter. Could you send my suit and hat over, please? Yes, Mr. Carter, right away. Uh, Tom, Jerry. Uh, get this stuff over to Mr. Carter's house, apartment 10C. <laughs> Oh, it's you. Come in, quick. Thank goodness it's you. One never knows who's at one's door nowadays. Yes, it is I, Super Kate, champion of niceness, but just a shadow of what I used to be. I suppose you're wondering why I let crime go unstopped on the streets. The sad truth of it is, I have lost my courage. Oh, if it ever gets out, my arch enemies will strike at me at any moment. And that is why I have asked you to bring my civilian clothes. I'm all washed up. Hark! It's my arch enemy, the bowler! Right you are, Chicken Super King. And I'm here to bowl you over. <laughs> Oh, goodness. You just ruined my wall. You win, Super Kate. You knocked the pins out from under me. I'll be nice from now on. I know the score. That rumor about you being cowardly sure was false. Bye, sucker. <laughs> oh! I was only fooling, Super Kate. Please, spare me. You may split. Turn in your bowling shoes and go directly to jail. Thanks, Super Kate. Tom and Jerry, you have given me new courage. And for your reward, I'm making you deputy Super Capes. Together we shall fight badness and rid our city of crime. Super Kate, you're back in action, you say? Sure, I've got crimes for you to fight. At this very moment, your arch enemy, High C, is headed for the Navi Piano Store. This is a job for Super Game. Oh, yes, and for Tom and Jerry, too. Da 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 da! Goodness, 
That scared feeling is coming back. I'm getting cold feet again. Tom and Jerry, you will have to go on ahead while I grapple with my nerves. You must stop High C before he sings and breaks the window. Go to it. Oh my goodness, I forgot to tell them how to pull out of a dive. Now listen, you freeloading cat. You're making a bigger mess than before. 
Hmm. I don't remember no dumb cat in this fairy tale. Now, my precious darling, are you ready yet? No, because Cinderella is not helping enough. Well, if some people can't help out around here, well then, some people wouldn't be able to go to the ball. Right, girls? Yes, Mother. <laughs> Cinderella! Cinderella, help me with my powder wig! Cinderella, I need help with my lipstick. And hurry up! Cinderella! I need help with my shoes! Cinderella, I need my corset tightened! We're going to the ball without you, pet. Come, my two enchantresses. That was really mean of that mean stepmother. I mean, really. And those two mean sisters, if you know what I mean. What this story needs now is a fairy godmother to lighten things up, if you get my meaning. Oh, here I am, your fairy godmother. I think I'm your fairy godmother. Oh, yes, of course I am. Nobody else looks like a fairy godmother around here. So it must be me. See, I have the regulation wand with that sparkling stuff coming out of it. Well, I'm sure I'm a fairy godmother. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Of course, I've got to be a fairy godmother. Don't I? I'll prove it to you. I'll do a little magic. I'll change that mirror on the wall into a clear blue lake. Oh, here I am, your fairy chicken. Oh, why, that's not right. Oh, what am I again? You're our fairy godmother. Oh, of course. How silly of me. I'm your fairy godmother. And you have to get ready for the ball. First, you're going to need a team of white horses to pull your carriage. That doesn't seem right. I know a pumpkin has something to do with this story. Well, anyway, we still need a carriage. Oops. Oh, now let's see. Maybe the dress goes on the pumpkin. That's it. The dress goes on the pumpkin. Wow. Dynamite. Oh, hello, dear darling. Now we need glass slippers. Oh, oh my goodness. It's Chicken Rella. No, that is definitely not the name of this story. Oh, if this will never do, dearie. Oh, why don't you go just as you are, and I'll go with the horse carriage. To the ball! Now listen, Prince, you have got to get married soon. Do you know what the taxes are on an unmarried prince? You're breaking the kingdom. I know, I know. Oh, your friendship. I'd like you to meet my two lovely daughters. You'll not find two more gorgeous girls in all your kingdom. Right, girls? Right. Yuck. Show the nice prince how well you can. <laughs> Yikes! Uh, pay no attention to that silly creature, Prissy. This is the daughter who can trip the light fantastic. <laughs> Who 
are you? I'm Chickenrella. Uh, I mean, Cinderella. Oh, oh, sorry. I have to run now. Uh, Cinderella, wait! We both know how the story is supposed to end, so why don't you just put on... Let's be it. Whoever likes it most will have it all by the end of the day. Deal? No trespassing. This means keep out, especially crows. Okay, but how about just one little ear of corn? Because we're friends. Handcuffs. It looks like we're not friends. Well then, fellas. Arrivederci, adios, aloha, adieu, cheerio, farewell, and bye-bye. Delicious corn. You forgot one. Hey, don't lock me in here. It's dark and I can't get out. with all his corn. Oh, 
you're hiding. But I don't understand. It's first syllable. Monkey? 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 Mon? The first syllable, mon. The second syllable? You're mixing something. Mix. Stew. Soup. Stir. Monster. Monster. Mon monster. You, you, you saw a m -m -m monster? Where? The laboratory? I can't believe it. Show me. Oh, oh, well, 
Attention all dogs, this is the great one, and here's your thought for the day. You must love all cats and mice. Really, you must love all cats and mice. They are your friends. Hey, what am I saying? No, no, don't touch that self-destruct button! And everyone will think for themselves. We have just picked up the rocket leaving the planet Dog Star. Our two stowaway space travelers are aboard, and what a story they'll have to give us! Tell us, Tom and Jerry, was there any sign of life on the planet Dog Star? Ooh, ooh, look who's back! <gasps> Wait, come back! Don't go in there! That rocket is going to the moon! Can you believe it? They're off again! We'll never know about the mysterious planet Dog Star until Tom and Jerry get back from the moon. But we'll all be waiting for our brave cat and mouse tronauts. Yeah, especially me. Ah, oh, what a day! Nothing like the peace and quiet of the forest primeval. Ah. Perchance I spoke too soon. Sooner even, I'm besieged with trespasses. Don't they know a man's home is his castle, treehouse even? Hey, you guys, you got a rid of habeas corpus or something? A camping permit even? Here, let me scrutinize that document. Huh? Build your own log cabin? Log? Logs from my tree? My home even? Surely you jest? You don't jest. You're serious. <sighs> Very well. You've aroused my anger. You made me miff even. And a miff squirrel spells trouble. Problems even. <laughs> Hmm, perhaps a warning will suffice. Stand by for a warning shot over the bow. Or on... Huh? What's up? Or sideways even? It's either an earthquake or those home records again. This time, they go too far. Further even. Some people just never take a hint. Therefore, I'll have to give him another hint. Ah, I see you all up in the air about something. How about a slip knot even? Are ready for a discussion on departure. All right, mouse. Uh-oh, I've been apprehended. Never even. Don't tell me. You mean to evict me from my premises. My home even. <laughs> you can't. You can't. Leave me homeless. No place to rest my little head. To raise a little family. Myself even. Oh, fellas. Don't pass me out the cold. The heat even? Oh, oh, please, please, let me please stay. stay. My home will be your home. We'll be roommates. Co-homeowners even. What do you say, fellas? Okay? Uh-huh. Oh, Swellsy! No, no, no. Oh, Swellsy, Swellsy.
lousy. I'll never be alone again. We'll be a family. Just you and me and... Huh? Oh, no! Oh, yes! It's a record! A tree-wrecking trespasser! Clear the way! I'm building a road through here, and you're right in the way of progress. A road? Right through here? A little home yet? Like I said, clear the way, because nothing stands in the way of progress. So here it comes, ready or not. Gentlemen, our home is in danger. Therefore, to arms, to legs even. Wait here, I have an idea. For a good boss, and this tree will be a pile of toothpicks. Aha! There's the little bolt that holds the whole thing together. A couple of good turns, and this piece of iron will be a pile of junk. But is that gonna stop me? Ha! Now let him try to stop my 20-ton steam show! Gee! Sure getting <coughs> smoggy in here!
horror, the terror, the fiercest moment all of Mexico. And as a token of my friendship, here are two passes to the bull ring. You can watch me fight this afternoon. Help! Run for your lives! One of the bulls has escaped! Oh no! It's El Rotno! <laughs> Any box. 
bobcats that might be in the area. Really? Sticks? Don't you think that's a bit silly? Okay, okay, okay. You win. Well, you better stay zipped up then, old boy. And stay out of the food. Whoa! Everything okay, honey? Uh, yeah, everything's, everything's fine. Thank <laughs> you.